Well, everybody, today is the day we're going to be trying to work on some of the center console box for the interior, but we've also got to work on removing some of the interior at the same time. Welcome back to another video here on Loud and Proud. So we've got a few things that we're gonna be doing today. I'm gonna take the tape measure real quick, measure the dimensions for the center console box that we're gonna be building for this truck so we know exactly how much lumber we need. And then uh, also, we're gonna have to be looking for a new hood. Wow, it is, uh, we're making an early road trip here. It's about six, what is it, 6.45 right now. Got a bit five. 645 right now we're actually on our way to do something that's not working on the center console box and I wasn't gonna reveal this to you guys in this video two weeks now we've been kind of going back and forth about trying to get this picked up but we got something new we're picking up surprise surprise it's another truck if you want to know exactly what it is you're gonna have to slow down just wait watch the video all the way through and we'll get to exactly what it is I think you guys are gonna like it we're really close to this truck and I'll show you guys, I'm not sure if I'll show it to you here once we get back home, but I hope it's exactly what he says it is. He says it's supposed to be like super clean, great condition, other than a couple really small minor things. I'll see what we got here and then I'll show you guys in just a bit. I did just see a third gen though. It's not what we're looking at, but I didn't see a third gen. So anyways, we'll get back here. I'm gonna look the truck over and then I'll show you in just a little bit. Well, fam, we did end up buying that truck. I'll show you exactly what it is, go through all the details with you and why I bought the truck and all that jazz. Just a minute here. So let's get this platinum turned around here and then we'll get into those details. Okay, so stay with me and bam, right there. <laughs> It is a 1996 five-speed manual, 12 valve Cummins, just over 180,000 miles on it. The thing is minty. So I'm gonna go over real quick, you know, you're probably all going, what in the actual heck are you doing? Like, why'd you buy another truck? And why'd you buy another five-speed 12 valve? Let's just say we've got something in store for this truck, which is gonna be a different style build from the other truck. So the other 12 valve, like I said, I'm trying to do like huge lift, big wheels and tires, you know, all this jazz. I know there's some guys that say, don't do it, don't do it, blah, blah, blah. But I kind of want to do it. And to be honest, if I'm making videos and I'm trying to do what I want to do, because I enjoy doing it, I should probably do something that I like. And it's going to be like big wheels, big tires, big suspension. It's going to have like tons of power, tons of this, tons of like, it's gonna be cool. Well, when I came across this truck, I was looking at it and I'm like looking all over, you know, the state of Indiana. I'm like, there's just no clean trucks. Like there's just not any clean trucks. I just want another five speed. I just, there's more information coming. Just stay tuned for the upcoming videos. I want another five speed, but I wanted an extended cab this time. And I want it under 200,000 miles. Cause that's kind of, to me, that's like, I think over 200,000 is kind of like the point for me to where it's not really considered like low miles anymore, but 180,000 five speed people on 12 out. I mean, that's that's pretty sweet. I mean, that's a pretty that's a sweet spot. I saw this truck and I'm like, I gotta have it. So I messaged the guy we got on the phone too, and he's like, The paint is in great condition. He said, The frame is in great condition. He said, The interior, there's one crack straight down the top of the dash, but we can take care of that by getting a new dash on top there's a little bit of the headliner peeling you know down in the front he's like but other than that like the thing is amazing he's like it came out of idaho rust free when i got it you know i've had it a few years he said all i did was the suspension work on it i think is what he said i think he said he did it he said i did it suspension work i put overloads in the back it's got a 410 rear end in it you know the dana 80 and then he said that he did a dual disc clutch in it he's like but other than that he said power stock which i liked and the truck pretty much, like in terms of power, just hasn't been touched, you know what I mean? And so nothing's been goofed with, nothing's been like, you know, ramped up on the truck to just push like tons of power, but like not done right. Like the thing's just, it's stock. For the guys that like stock trucks out there, the plan with this is to keep it power wise, mostly stock. But in terms of like aesthetics, make it look really, really sick. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned and stay tuned for like, kind of like what we're going with here. I already ordered a bunch of stuff in for the truck. So just trust the process. It's great. Check it out here. So of course you've got the five speed, it's in gear right now, actually in first so that 
doesn't roll around and hit the other second gen behind me my wife's truck it is of course a four-wheel drive i only buy the four-wheel drives for the most part except for the one um 12 valve that i had that was that first gen if you guys remember that truck that was a two-wheel drive just because i got it so cheap and my original plan was to kill it so i'm like oh, i don't want to buy a freaking four-wheel drive and destroy it well apparently everybody was upset and changed their mind once they saw the truck and so i didn't end up doing that of course like i said the dash has this one crack here and there's one more right there but of course just like the other truck that's in the garage the other five speed we will fix that we're going to get a brand new whole top part of the dash so we can redo that the right way in terms of the interior seats are in bad shape i mean they're pretty darn clean they're pretty nice this one on this side i think is ripped a little bit yeah it's ripped a little bit it's got that like that navy blue interior the whole thing is the original interior navy blue like carpet dash all that stuff and i'm trying to decide if i want to keep it that way or not i'll probably stick with that and not do anything like i am with the longhorn second gen project just because that truck was all like tans and blacks anyways so it'll be fine when we do the conversion with the carpet and the interior and all that stuff but for this truck unless you're gonna do everything navy blue is kind of a hard color to change up and then in terms of the back seat it looks like it's probably I don't even know if it's ever been sat in. I'm sure it has been at some point in the last 20 plus years, but it looks like it's in absolutely great shape. Just cannot wait until you guys see what we have coming up for this truck. So let's get out of the truck and I'll show you underneath of it a little bit here. Um, I think he said he sprayed it down with like Rust-Oleum paint or something. Cab mounts on the cab, completely solid. The mounts on the frame, completely solid all the way to the front and back of the truck. And up here, of course, there's no rotting, no rusting. I mean, it's just, like I said, I think he sprayed some Rust-Oleum paint, but there's no like holes in the body or the frame or anything like that. If you look at the rockers, pretty sure these are all the original seals and stuff. It'll focus. These are all like the original plugs and seals all the way through here. In terms of the bed, it's really straight. Body lines are perfectly straight. There's no big dents or dings all over the bed. There's a couple little teeny tiny ones, but no big dings and dents, dents, nothing like that. No rust just a little dirty right now but no rust anywhere on the thing i mean it really is in really really good shape tailgate oh my goodness dudes this tailgate is not banged up scratched up destroyed i mean it's it's in really really good shape as well bumper no dents in the bumper at all no rust no rot it's got one little chip right there that's about it in terms of flaws on the thing for the most part. I mean, it's just a really straight and narrow truck. And uh, it does have a four and a half inch lift kit on it. New straight pipe exhaust. You can see the hanger even back here. Even the hanger has no like crust or real rust on other than a little bit of surface starting there. Frame solid. I mean, you can see it's not like, you know, it's been glopped on with all kinds of crap. I mean, it's been Rust-Oleum paint sprayed. But other than that, you can tell when you look at like the holes in the bolt heads and like even the star bit heads there or the tops of the rivets here in the frame. Like when everything's nice and crisp and clean, it looks like it's almost new. You know, it hasn't been like rotted and redone. I mean, it just looks, it looks amazing. There's no rot, no rust, nothing like that. Same with up behind here, no rot, no rust. It really is super, super nice. And to be honest with you, this is a hard truck to find like this. And this is why I think for the most part, we're gonna leave the engine alone and just really work on aesthetics. And I'll get more into why we're gonna do that coming up soon. But until that part comes, you're just gonna have to stay tuned and find out. Back in here with the second gen Longhorn project. And those of you who haven't seen this truck yet, there's a whole bunch of stuff we're gonna be doing to this thing. Tons of interior work needs done. And we actually found a guy to do the seats and we're gonna be getting that done real soon. The frame is coming together really good. Still have some more stuff to do and finish up on it just to get all the final details worked out. But again, look at this hanger which I even thought was pretty clean. I mean, like I said, it's kind of like, you know, crusty a little bit, but it's not like rotted in half and like worried about this cracking and stuff. Cause I had a truck that was really bad. Trust me, this is not that bad. But in terms of like this frame, I thought it was super clean and it is. I mean, it was super clean um, comparatively to most of the 12 valves that I've looked at that are local trucks. And that truck out there is just really, really clean for the truck to be quite honest with you and i did pick up some lumber here to work on the custom center console box so we're going to get to that very soon as well we still have a ton of stuff to do to this truck we're still going to be doing just you guys already know kind of like what the idea is for this truck so i'm not going to list it all again but just tons of stuff coming on this one so stay tuned this one here is going to be getting a ton of work done and now 
we've got another five speed to do a lot of work on. In the other five speed, we're gonna be working on stuff for that truck in between when we're waiting on parts to show up for this one. That way we can keep you guys fed all kinds of five speed 12 out of action. That way you guys don't have to go long in between videos and you can see tons of work getting done. Whether it's this five speed or the other five speed, you're gonna get some 12 out of action. And also do not forget that you are down to the last 48 hours to enter to win our 1997 Chevy 1500, the budget build gas Chevy, and every $5 is five entries to win. And just so you guys kind of have an inside, there's not many people that have entered to win that truck, and I'm not gonna tell you how many, and I can't give you numbers, because that's not right, but all I'm gonna say is there's not anywhere near what we normally have in for giveaways, because of course it's not one of our diesel giveaways, but it's still a huge opportunity for you to win a truck that runs good, drives good, and hey, if you want to sell it, you can sell it, you want to part it out, you can part it out, do whatever you want, but it's still a great, solid truck, and I would hate for you to miss out on your opportunity to own that truck when you have the highest odds you've probably ever had. So here's that Chevy 1500. Like I said, it's got a little rust spot on the door. It's got a little rust spot on the fender. It's a little dirty right now because I just took it over for some deer hunting, but uh, great, solid, good running truck. 35 by 1250s. Pro comp steel wheels, headlights, tail lights, mirrors, all that jazz, interior stuff. Enter to win it. Information down in the description below. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys like the new truck and hopefully you guys are just as excited as I am to see the progress on this one as well as the other 12 valve. If you guys have any questions, put them down in the comment section below. If you guys are wanting to win that blue Chevy, information in the description below as well. Subscribe if you're new, join the team, join the family, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.